Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. So when input shaping was announced for the Mark IV a few weeks ago, we all got very excited about the Benchy, the Bonkers Benchy, and there has not been any new releases as far as I'm aware of on the firmware, but I did look back through and there was another G-code listed, the Labyrinth, for about three hours or three and a half hours or so. And so I wanted to try that out and see how that turned out. I downloaded it and got it going on the Mark IV with a PLA. So I wanted to use the tricolor from Emollient that I've used in the past. I wanted to see how that would turn out. This prints well. I don't have a lot of information about the layer height or the speeds because it's just a G-code. There is no 3MF file to look at. Okay, so this looks like a maze. And I think it turned out really cool with this filament. The three color is really pretty on it. it. Takes a little bit to get it off the bed, but it does pop off. And here is the complete print. And I do notice that there's two different areas where you can start the maze. The way I'm holding it, there's the front left corner and then the back right corner. And I presume you can go from one side to the other. So this side you see the blue, and on this side you're seeing more of the gold, the back is a little bit gold, and then on the front is the green. So this turned out really cool. The back doesn't look super solid, it looks a little bit see-through, you can see my fingers through it. So that first layer, it may only be one layer, or a couple layers, but it kind of looks cool like that I think. So as I'm looking at it, I start thinking, well, maybe there's a way that I could put clear glass on the top, acrylic, something clear. Maybe I could put a metal ball in it so that I would be able to use it as an actual kind of puzzle game. But I start thinking, well, surely it's on printable somewhere. So I should maybe just see if there's some more details. Maybe that way I can get a 3MF file. So I look all through Prusa 3D's prints. There's lots of different things on there, but I do not see a labyrinth on there. The one thing I do find is this labyrinth by got to be 3 d Oxana. This is showing two different colors and kind of like an outside and an inside, but it looks very similar. Also, I notice a lab pin, which I think sounds great. Then that's a great way to, you know, keep your place and be able to possibly take this, it says it's a road trip or fidget toy, and you don't have to worry about something falling out. So I go ahead and print that. I use the same filament. It takes like seven minutes or something, not very long. And it does print well, it does, it, it works. Um, and you can see kind of on the bottom, there's almost like a, that's the top, on the bottom, there's almost like a little lip or something to, it almost looks like maybe that would help it catch on something. So I get my labyrinth and see if this is something that's going to fit. And immediately I figure out, no, it's, it's not going to work, especially with that little kind of flare out at the bottom. It's not catching. So I'm going to resize this and see if I can figure out a way to make it fit. I do this a couple times and I finally find one that I think will work. I end up slicing off that kind of lip on it and make it a little bit taller, but still the same. The knob on the other end where you grab is gonna be about the same. So this will work. It does slide through, but of course, it's not gonna catch on anything. So you have to be kind of really careful as you're going along. It's a little bit hard to see, you know, exactly where you're at. So, I want to look at this again and see if maybe I'm missing something. Why there was that little bit of a lip on the other one. Of course you guys probably don't want to see me put together an entire puzzle. So I go back in Slicer and you can do this where you do a G-code preview. And I pull in the G-code. This opens a new window. And I can see what I printed. I can't even really see the size. There's very little information other than that same, you know, it's gonna take three hours and 19 minutes. Maybe I'm missing something in these settings of a way that I can, you know, I tried even to export it and that didn't work out. So I am not really sure how I can really do anything else with this. 
even opening in Prusa Slicer, I thought, well, maybe it'll open it. No, there's no file there. So, so I download the Labyrinth file from the printables, the one that was by Oxana. And this pulls in at 100% scale. It's too big. So I scale it a little bit down and try to look at it as far as slicing it. Um, of course, this is two separate prints. There's kind of like an outside shell. This one doesn't have like a solid backer. So I'm kind of trying to just compare this and see. Um, and then I, I go in and do a... I try to pull in the settings from the G code, the configuration from that to see if maybe that'll help kind of speed it up and compare it a little bit. And when I do this, I'm a little bit surprised by the print time. So this is the Oxana one that I downloaded with the settings from the Labyrinth from the G code. And it's saying it's going to be five hours, over five hours. So I'm probably missing something, but I also noticed that on this one that has a download, there actually is that lip on it on the other side. So there is an, a space that that pin is going to catch on so that when you do go along and you're trying to figure out the puzzle, that pin's not going to slide out. It's going to actually keep your place, which is really cool. I think that makes perfect sense and also explains why that outer shell is a different print. You can print the yellow one on its back and then flip it up inside of the green one. That sounds like a great design overall. So I'm curious if you guys have seen this Labyrinth G-Code with the MK4, if possibly there is a file on printables that I missed, and I would like to be able to compare them a little bit better. But overall, I would say that this is a really cool design. I would go with the one from printables by Oxana. I think it's a really cool idea, and I'm really curious to see if this is something that you guys would print. Uh, the three color would look really great on that as well. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.